Hey folks, Alan Mandic, the Hot Rod Hippie here. This week's video, we're taking a look at the updated design of the Tungsten Mate tungsten grinder setup. Go ahead and stick around to the end of this video so you can see how you could win one of these tools. I'm gonna be giving away two, so two lucky folks out there are gonna win one. So I'm coming to you this week from my brother-in-law's shop in North Carolina. As you can see here, I'm standing in front of his 72 C10 pickup truck that we swapped an LS-based engine into last year. This thing is a fun, albeit patinaed ride. I'm down here visiting family. My sister just had her first kid, so I'm a new uncle. In today's video, I have the updated design Tungsten Mate tungsten grinder attachment. After my previous review of the Tungsten Mate tool, I got back and forth a little bit with the manufacturer of this tool, Zero Tolerance Industries. They let me know that they were planning to update the design on it and had some input from customers and wanted to hear what I had to say. So what's new about the new design? Well, it's now available in a total of six versions. You can either get it in Delrin or aluminum. Both designs are CNC machined from solid stock. That means they are not 3D printed, they are not injection molded or cast. They are produced from a solid piece, which makes them a stronger design. That stronger design means that say if you knock it off the workbench, you don't have to worry so much about this thing hitting the ground and shattering, cracking down side, anything like that, whether it be the aluminum version or the Delrin version. Of course, the aluminum version is gonna be a little bit tougher either way. Now, the big feature with change with this tool is angle. Basically, the only thing in the previous design I didn't particularly like was that it was set at a fixed 20 degree grind angle. AWS recommends a 22.5 degree grind angle on your tungsten, but I am not a pipe welder. I am not a steam fitter. I am working on sheet metal. I'm working on classic cars. So I want a finer point on my tungsten. And they listen to that. You can now get this in either a 10 degree, a 15 degree, or a 20 degree version in either the Delrin or the aluminum. That's where you get six versions. Now in the Delrin version, it has steel insert guides to go ahead and guide the tungsten to the grinding wheel. You get three of the guides with the Delrin tool. They come in 16th, 332nd, and 8th inch size. You can get a 40,000th guide if you want, but you have to choose to replace one of the guides that you're getting. So maybe you want to get rid of the 8th inch one and get the 40,000th, so you have the smaller stuff for the smaller jobs. On the aluminum version, you've got all four sizes already in the tool. There are no inserts you have to put in there to guide it to the right size to the wheel. They're already machined into it, ready to go. And the last upgrade they made is a 304 stainless mandrel for the grinding wheel. They tested out different mandrels that they found on the market to go ahead and combine with their tool, and they just didn't like any of the ones they found. So they ended up machining their own stainless steel one so they could keep the tolerances how they wanted them. So now what do you get with this tool when you pick it up? You get the tool itself. If you buy the Delrin one, you get the guides that come with it. You get two one inch diamond wheels, you get the mandrel, and you get an Allen wrench so you can go ahead and install the diamond wheels onto the mandrel. You also get this silly little kind of velvety bag for storing everything, and this little business card with the instructions on it. So if your eyesight's not the greatest, you're gonna wanna break out your reading glasses to go ahead and read this, but it does tell you everything you need to know to get this thing set up properly. Since you have to choose your own Dremel style die grinder setup for this thing, I picked the Milwaukee cordless one. Makes my life a lot easier. I have no cord tying me down. I can get right to the project I'm working on and work away. So now let's go ahead and talk price. The Delrin version of this tool is running for $34.99 and the aluminum version is running for $59.99. So even the expensive one is under $60. Combine that with something like this $69 grinder and you are well under half the cost of the more expensive grinders on the market. There's one optional thing when it comes to this, you can get it with a slot to cut tungsten. That cutter slot allows you to go ahead and cut down tungsten when you get it really globbed up, when it's really contaminated, and you can't fit it through the guide holes anymore. Do not break your tungsten. The Eastwood tool that I reviewed recently has a breaker on it that cracks the tungsten off because it's so brittle and you can do it pretty easily. You should never, ever do it. Thank you to Ron Covell for pointing that out in the comments of that video. It slipped my mind when I reviewed that product. When you break the tungsten, you actually microfracture it up the shaft of a tungsten. So now you have the chance of arc wander coming off the side of that tungsten all along those cracks, or the tungsten straight up failing and falling apart under load. You're never ever supposed to 
break tungsten. You should only cut it off. Clearly, this is not a full review. You can check out my previous review to see what I thought of this tool in general. Bottom line, I like it. I do recommend it. Personally, I would pick up the aluminum ones. You have all four sizes right there on the same tool without having to change out guides, but that is me. I am giving two of these away though. There are three ways to enter and they are all simple. First and foremost, right here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, smack that subscribe button, and then go down into the comments below and just leave any comment. Let me know what you think of this tool. Do you have one? Would you like to pick one up? Do you just wanna win? Pick me, whatever you wanna put in the comments down below. The other two ways to enter are either via Facebook or Instagram. Go to my Facebook page, drop it a like, and leave a comment on the giveaway post there. There will also be text instructions there to let you know how to enter. And finally, there's Instagram. On Instagram, go over there, follow me on Instagram, and tag a friend in the comment section of the giveaway post. If you do that, you are entered. You can enter all three ways. You can have up to three chances to win these tools. I will be giving away two of these. Whoever wins first prize gets first dibs on which angle they want. I have the 10 degree, 15 degree, and 20 degree to give away. Second prize winner gets to pick from whichever two are left over. I will ship these anywhere in the world. I really hope I don't end up regretting that, but I knew I have viewers around the world, so I don't want to limit this to just the USA. And finally, this giveaway is only a one week giveaway. Today is August 18th, 2018, it's Saturday. And next Saturday is August 25th, 2018, and that is the end of this giveaway. I will announce the winner then. If you found the video interesting, leave it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this updated design? Do you like the way they're going with this? Do you like that they're listening to customer input? And of course, your comment will get you entry into picking up one of these tools if you're subscribed. And last but not least, subscribe so you can get more videos like this every week and more giveaways in the near future. I'm coming up on 5,000 subscribers quicker than I expected, and I'll be doing another giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So thanks for coming around, folks.